All right, people, I'm proud of everyone in this room and the work we've been doing. Pokemon is gonna be one hell of a game when it comes out, but we do need to get these strengths and weaknesses nailed down, so I'm gonna turn it over to Ted, who's been making some good progress on this. Thank you, Marcus. As you can see, I've made this handy chart, and I filled out some of the problem areas we were having trouble with. Now, I've got dragons taking half damage from grass, half damage from fire, half damage from water, and half damage- Now hang on a second, water attacks should be super effective against dragon types. Don't be ridiculous, Carl, these are dragons. They're not gonna be bothered by a little bit of water. With all due respect, are you f***ing dumb? Look, if fire types are weak to water, then dragons should be too. I don't see the connection. Oh, you don't, you don't see any connection. Well, how about this? Fill in the blank for me here, Ted. Blank breathing dragons. Air? Air. Air breathing. You know, you, Ted. If you're not gonna take this seriously, we might as well just pack it up and go home. Dragons don't breathe air? They breathe in air, and they breathe out fire! And you goddamn know it, Ted! Alright, everyone, calm down. Now, Ted is in charge of strengths and weaknesses of the different types. So what he says goes. I don't believe this Thank you, Marcus. Now, as I was saying, electricity will also deal half damage to dragons. Oh, for the love of Carl, you have a problem with this one, too. As a matter of fact, I do, Ted. You see, we've got electric types doing double damage to flying types. Why? Because a lightning bolt would knock a flyer out of the air. So why the hell would it do half damage to dragon types? Carl, not all dragons fly, okay? <laughs> not all dragons. Ted, we have exactly one crumpet f***ing dragon in this game, and it's got wings on it. How do you think it gets around, Ted? A Ford Explorer? Well, we can always take those wings off. You take the wings off, Dragonite. And I will cut you. I'll cut you, Ted. All right, stop, 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 stop. We're getting off track again. Let's get these dragon types nailed down so we can move on to fairy types. If we don't nail down the strengths and weaknesses of fairy types, they're not even gonna make it into the game. By all means, yes, let's get back on track. Let's get back to the board. Now, uh, next up we have ice, and ice will deal double damage to dragons. Oh, of course they do, Ted, of course they do. And back over to Carl. Carl has another question. Oh, my question. Yeah, my question is how much crack have you smoked today? Why would a dragon be weak to ice, Ted? Does the dragon have sensitive teeth? Well, dragons in the Pokemon world are essentially big reptiles, and reptiles are cold-blooded, so if you lowered their body temperature, they would become slow and lethargic. Uh, oh, all right, that one, that kind of makes sense. Of course it makes sense. Now, fairy types will do double damage. Oh, God. Carl, God damn it! Oh, I'm sorry, did I interrupt Ted telling us how Tinkerbell's gonna beat up Smog? My sincerest apologies. We haven't even gotten to bug types yet. While we're on the subject, why do poison types do half damage to ground? Because you can't poison the ground, Carl. But they do full damage to flying. You can't poison the concept of flights. Make it make sense. Weak to ice. Ted, name me one dragon that's ever been weak to ice. The Syrian. It's 1995, Ted. That show doesn't even exist yet. And that whole season was a dumpster fire. Hello, and welcome to the Post-Sketch Breakdown. Breakdown! This is the post-show recap that I made because you totally wanted it and it was necessary, and not just because the YouTube algorithm hates short videos. Today we're breaking down the coolest facts, Easter eggs, and behind-the-scenes trinkets from the latest LaserCorn sketch. This one is titled, Pokemon Angry Dev Room. Let's get in there and break this sketch down. Alright, so right off the bat, this guy is not really in the room. This is all done on green screen. Also, you probably can't tell, but this mustache is actually fake. Alright, so here you can see this guy is actually the same guy from before, but now he's wearing a wig to confuse the viewer. This board in the background, that's actually there. It's not a green screen. It should have been a green screen, but the producer, whose name is uh, Lasercorn, thought it would be too much work to set up an actual green screen, and so he just wrote it on his actual whiteboard. This was obviously a bad idea because as you can see here, the whiteboard reflects light from the production lights and is ju just generally looks terrible. Another fun fact, that whiteboard you're seeing, it's actually here in my office and usually holds my kids' artwork. And if you zoom in here, you can see that the handwriting on the board actually looks like it's the work of a small child, but that's actually the actor's just terrible handwriting. And right here, if you zoom in even more, you can see the word spooky with an arrow pointing to ghost type, which is an Easter egg, I guess. All right, moving on, we got a shot of Carl here. Fun fact about Carl, it's actually the same 
actor who plays Ted just without the wig. Also, you can see sometimes it does these weird punch-ins and that's because the actor's hands actually went outside the green screen. So they went off of the green screen and would look real weird if we left it in. So uh, yeah, so there's just a bunch of weird punch-ins everywhere. And originally the director w wanted to take those out, but then he remembered that uh, no one on YouTube has any attention span. So he just left them in. Okay, another fun fact, the character Carl swears by saying the word crumpet and uh, that's funny because Carl he's not even British I don't know why he says that okay in this scene the character Marcus mentions that fairy types might not make it into the game this is because when the writer wrote the sketch he forgot that fairy types were not in the original game but he'd already written a joke for them so rather than change the joke the writer just decided that fairy types were supposed to be in the original game but then got cut for time because he's lazy Easter egg, the actor that gets hit by a chair here had a bruise for a couple days, it hurt. All right, and in the final shot, we see an outtake, and this was originally supposed to be in the sketch, not an outtake, but uh, unfortunately, uh, when the joke was written, the writer forgot that, that Game of Thrones didn't come out before Pokemon. Kind of a huge oversight, so that, that, that joke got moved to outtakes and there was a line added to address it. And that's the end of the post-sketch breakdown. Breakdown. <clears throat> yeah, so, I thought of doing a a post post sketch breakdown or like a post sketch breakdown breakdown I guess it would be but honestly this has gone on long enough this has gone on long enough so yeah just uh, just subscribe if you can or click over here if you want to see my last sketch click over here if you want to see some og sog content with me Jobin Mari and Sohinky that's it my voice hurts from doing this bye.